Hello everyone. I'm having a good day so far. A really good day. Go subscribe and then come back and we'll kind of tell you what we're gonna do today. So the girls are at recess for another five, 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna get them home. They have half day today, so. Well, the older girls only had homeroom and one, they do like a mental health check-in class, which I think is great. So then they're done. And Chelsea and Ashley will come home from their lunch break. I'm gonna grab myself a cheese stick to eat on the road. And then Chelsea and Ashley have to come back and do their afternoon check-in, call, closing, meeting, whatever they call it. And then they are done, but Ashley has more homework. We are working on getting her homework done while school hours are in. It's one thing we even talked about with her teacher this morning in our teacher parent parent-teacher conference was that was one of her weaknesses to work on in the beginning of this school thing. And then Abby and I are gonna go to Ikea, which sounds kind of fun to me because it's different. So let me show you what we've done here in the office and then I'll show you what we've done upstairs and why we kind of need to go to Ikea. All right, so all of our desks are gone from this area. Technically, Jason's work desk doesn't need to be here anymore because he's no longer working from home and I made him condense all of his work stuff. <laughs> to a little bucket right down there. This AC unit will probably come out in a week or two. We're kind of seeing, we're actually kind of using it right now for air quality. There's lots of fires that are in our Eastern Washington areas that have blown the smoke all over to Western Washington. The air quality is horrible. It blows in in like late afternoon and then it's horrible all night long. So these um, air conditioners actually have like an air filter on them. And then I actually have this one over here that we brought down right there. We turn it on upstairs because all of our air kind of like filters upstairs. So we filter it upstairs and we brought it down here. Anyway, I digress. The AC unit will go in about two weeks. And then I'm going to get two more desks to refill in right here just because it is helpful to have those desks. And they're only $8.99 at Ikea for like the regular tabletop. Remember, this is the one we cut down. So we're gonna need to get the regular size and then it'll fill in that gap right here because we do use that space. And then this is kind of where Ashley is coming to set up. It'll be easier when she doesn't have the air conditioning make a ton of, making a ton of noise. And then I can work here and I have air buds. Well, they're fake ones. So I can work and not interrupt her. And the older girls kind of realized after they got their school supplies, they need a desk in their bedroom. And they only have one and it's a makeup table. So I'll show you what they've set up in there. Fabi will let me come in and show you because she's done a really good job at organizing this room. All right, so Abby is working at her desk. Maybe we'll show later because she's working on a little project. So she doesn't want me to show that. But this area here is gonna take the biggest change. We're actually gonna, these are the size that I'm gonna get at Ikea. This one is pretty roughed up. So we're gonna kinda use this as, an, as a backup, more of a craft table. And I'll get two new ones to go downstairs. But they have the tabletop here at Ikea that is exactly 59 inches. And this space right here is 59 inches. So we're gonna get the desk to go all the way across and Kaylee can use the space up from here over. And then you can see Abby's makeup bucket here will go into this space on that tabletop. And then she's got like her makeup brushes and stuff. So then she'll still have room to kind of sit here and do her makeup in the morning. But then Kaylee will have her space on this side to do her schoolwork. And then obviously she can still sit in bed because I know they will for their calls and stuff. But then they'll have room to work and do their homework. And then Abby's kind of just working right here at her new desk area, which has a desk and it's totally fine for her to use. I'm gonna look at ones that are not as deep and see if she wants one. I'm gonna have her kind of sit at them at Ikea and see. Oh, I can show you Chelsea's. But I think she's set in there, but we just need a long one. And then I'm gonna just get two extra desk tops because we've got all the legs because they just kind of get chinked up. The more I clean it with Clorox and alcohol from the paint and all the markers and stuff, the more the tabletop kind of chips off. And they're only $8.99 for the top. So I'm just gonna kind of stockpile them, <laughs> kind of like I do food. Something is in the way in Chelsea's room. So I'll show you what I've done in here. Yoga balls behind doors <laughs> don't really work, Chelsea. So in her room, it's a little bit messy because she um, hasn't really made her bed from this morning. But you can kind of see that her setup, she's kind of taking ownership of it now. So she's got a little pencil jar and this is her little tray you can write on or use the laptop on. And then she's got her laptop on a little one of the trays from Ikea as well. So you can kind of see that she's got her area she can work on. She sits on the bed when she does her Zoom calls, but then we'll sit here and do her homework 
she's kind of taking ownership and having her space. Unfortunately, that doesn't include Ashley. So although it would be cute and nice to be able to have both of them here and put a desk over there, it just isn't feasible to have the two of them in the same space because their calls are too interactive and they don't have earbuds that they can use to talk into like Kaylee and Abby do. And I'm not willing to spend the money on theirs. And Chelsea just, she's in fifth grade and I want her to like own up to this schoolwork and the responsibility and the independence of it. So I'm letting her have that extra space. And I'm gonna keep Ashley down here because she needs my help quite often and I'd rather her stay near me. But I've gotta go get the girls outside to get on their Zoom calls and then Abby and I are gonna head to Ikea. That's what we're doing today. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a walk. Savannah. She went past our car. Abby! <laughs> the car is right here. See? Right there. Take a stand for the people, for the land. Let's go back to when we were young. For the animals we stand. Let's go back to when trees were so Great. Right. We did pretty good. I got everything. Except for a, uh, let's turn this down here. I wanted a new wrapping paper box. I didn't really have high hopes of finding that here, but um, we got everything. Turned out pretty good, right, Abby? Yeah. They just did not have, I'll show you what everything we got, but we did not have any legs for any of the tables. <laughs> they were out of stock, which I don't know how you run out of stock of the legs, but not the tables. But I have two extra legs from the table we cut down in my office, and then we'll just reuse the four from Abby's desk and put the new one in. Till then, I'm just gonna tell my friends, anytime they come down to Ikea, look for legs for me. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to show you what we got. Our annual <laughs> stock up on some snacks. These are the ones with little marshmallow inside. And they didn't have this one last time. This one has soft toffee covered chocolate. So that one is mine. I'll share some of these ones, but no one needs to know about that one except for Abby, and she didn't really want some. And then we actually got two or three of these little horse ones, but we remembered that a friend of ours, her family is in quarantine because mom has COVID. <laughs> so tomorrow is our last day of isolation. So we dropped her off a little bag of that and one of these chocolate bars. So now we have to convince Chelsea and Ashley to share one because <laughs> we did get one for each of the kids. And then I got two little soap dishes for the showers. I use Dove soap in the shower and so does Abby, but then it gets stuck on the, the shower shelf or whatever and it's gross. And I do like this little matte black on the bottom. Okay, and then this thing, this drawer, look at this. I'm just gonna be open and honest. Ashley has her iPad out all the time. Look at this. It drives me insane. So, I will come back to this. But like all these straws, they just, they're not long enough for any of the, the containers that I currently have. I mean, they're just like everywhere. And then every bit of plastic we've ever had gets saved. And it's like, why? And every single container of medicine we've ever had gets saved. So I'm gonna organize this drawer here in a minute. These go here, but I need to see if the straws, yes, that's probably the longest straw. Oh, that one is, but that's great. That totally fits. And then these guys have little silicone things that go on the end of them because I don't like to use straws with metal. I don't like the taste of it in my mouth. I'm weird, but these come off. So then we can put them in this little container here if they come out of the wash dishwasher. So I'll just do this really quick. I just love that they can all be in their little compartment like that. All right, I'll probably end up throwing these away. Then I'll wash these guys out and just put them underneath the stairs in case we need them for later. Okay, drum roll. I am a sucker for organization. So we've got the really tall straws on this side, a lot of the bottle washers right here, as well as like, I have a ton of these silicone ones, and then all of these metal bendy straws are kind of in this side. 
Then I've got chopsticks here. Not sure what that is. And then there's little chopstick holders for kids that we got from Jason's sister in China. And then bag clips. So I think that worked out pretty good. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is a rug that I got for the front porch. Let me just show you out there. All right, so the front porch, I have this rug here, and it's super ugly, and it's not comfortable to stand on when you're doing your socially distant from the porch. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Worn out yet, maybe I'll put it in the back. I just thought that was a lot cuter. Kind of the, the gray tones, but then also some of the red, because I have red cushions here until the fall. But then you can see with the door, kind of the green hues from the door kind of show up in the rug there. I think it works out pretty good. What do you guys think? I don't know, it's kind of cute. I like it. It'll just be nicer to stand on that when I'm usually barefoot, just talking to people. Yes, that's much better. All right, now to take this desk upstairs and put that together, but then these two table areas will have to wait. I'm missing two legs to put one table up, and then I'll just have to wait and find four more legs, put the other one back over there. But I don't think I really need that one now. So I'm just gonna ask around and see if anyone has two more legs, like these guys right here. Because remember I have two extra ones that I'm not using right there. them organize. They have music on in there anyway, so I can't really film while they're doing it. They want it to look nice. So they're putting all their stuff back on it. I love seeing my girls use power tools. It always makes Jason happy when he watches the videos and he doesn't know that they've been using them either. So it's kind of fun. And of course, all the mess ends up at the bottom of the stairs with all the boxes and <laughs> garbage. Oh well, at least they're having fun getting their space put together. It's interesting at Ikea, every desk is on unavailable. And I knew that going into it. I had two friends this morning when I said that I was gonna go to Ikea. They're like, you're not gonna get desks, they're out of stock. And I was like, oh, contraire, my friend. We just don't get desks. We know of the tricks. Oh, and the car's open, and the trunk is open. <laughs> Hang on. All right, the garbage is put away. We also were able to pick up at the school, Chelsea and Ashley's, um, let's see, who's this one for? Second grade. This is Ashley's stuff. They gave him a little notebook and a math workbook. And let's see, I think that's, oh, a little measurement paper. Obviously, they're going to do some kind of a math unit on measurement. And then they did this cute little whiteboard. It's just a piece of paper laminated, which is a cute idea. And then a folder. Oh, I can't see if there's anything in there. Just a folder to keep their stuff in. And then Ashley got a whiteboard art marker and a little sticky notepad and quick word handbook for everyday writers. So this is obviously part of her writing unit, which is great. So that's Ashley's little stack. I'll put that in her room. All right, so then Chelsea got an expo marker and some sticky notes and the same little whiteboard and then her schedule, which I already have. And then Chelsea has actually been asking for a calendar, a whiteboard calendar, but I kind of knew they were gonna do this planner again. I think she had one last year where the teacher can give them like their spelling list and all their assignments every single day in different areas. It'll help her keep track of her homework. Even though it's all online, it kind of will give her an idea of how to kind of map out her day. So I think this is great. Then they also gave Chelsea a whiteboard <laughs> I think this is genius. I don't know why I never thought of it. Just to laminate a piece of cardstock and then her schedule. We already have that. And then math book one and math book two, which is great. I don't think I said what this guy was. <laughs> I'm a little scatterbrained because it's really hot, but I'm going to use this up by our diffusers. I'll probably just give this one to Chelsea for now because I'm not using my diffuser very much. I'll put water in here and then she can just fill up her diffuser from her bedside instead of having to take it into the bathroom. We're having to wash our diffusers quite a bit because they get moldy here in Seattle. I'll, I'll probably get another one of these for Kaylee now because they want a diffuser as well. Okay, kitchen. Let's put back together. Sometimes I don't like to... Uh, tear too many things apart because then you end up making more messes for yourself. Oh, who else shuts the dishwasher with your leg? And then if you ever watched your kids learn how to unload the dishwasher or load it, and then your two-year-old starts to try and kick the dishwasher shut like you do. Every single one of my kids have caught me off guard in terms of shutting the you know dishwasher with their foot because I always do it. I am gonna go take a chill. It's quarter to five already, which is ridiculous. Got snacks and Ashley's stuff, and I already have leftovers because I made those meatballs again last night and I made a ton. 
so I don't even have to make dinner, which is great, because I still have Wendy's to eat over there. And Abby and I got it on our way home. So I'm gonna work on the computer for a bit. We'll see what else their room looks like when they're done. All right, so I just finished editing yesterday's video about me recovering from vertigo, all the smoky skies. But I forgot to say, I'm gonna add it in the description. There's a video that a friend of mine gave me that day or the night before, the night I got vertigo. And it was um, a new exercise to do. You're basically kind of putting yourself upside down and then flipping the crystal back into place. But I'm gonna put that video in the link of that recovery video. So if you are curious about vertigo and you came to that video, go and check out that video in the description. That makes sense. It's not my video, it's from a doctor. I just forgot to mention it that day and you know, my mind was a little foggy when I'm dizzy. <laughs> Anyway, so let's run up. I think Abby and Kaylee have their room all put back together. Kind of want to show it to you before it gets too dark here. You can see, they're all in there. Probably have to have them come out because their friend is here too. So hang on. Okay, we're giggling because we're all trying to stay out of the shot of the mirrors right here. And Kaylee's friend is down here on the floor. <laughs> so if you hear giggles, it's, it's her. All right, so I think the desk turned out really, really good. Jason went and picked up one more power strip because we have so many things to plug in. And here is the chair that Kaylee calls the grandpa chair, correct? Kaylee, are we changing out the chair? Yes. She wants one like Abby's, so we're probably gonna go to Target and get one like Abby's. And then, don't tell Chelsea, she gets the grandpa chair. So Abby's got her little makeup station. This thing right here, we had to lift this up. Abby, what did we, like 20 pounds? This thing weighs a ton. Yeah, it's heavy for a lot of stuff in it. Anyway, and then she's got some color pencils and, and markers and stuff right there. But then this side over here is kind of where Kaylee's gonna do her schoolwork. She's got her makeup stuff and and getting ready stuff right there. But then she's got all of her notebook for school as well. And then her pencils, charging cord for something, I don't know. And then it's just a big enough space that they, you know, if, if they were at the same desk, someone's doing makeup, someone is working, there's plenty of room. All right, so Abby's desk over here, she's got it organized as well. She got a little, a little file box as well for her notebooks. She's got like wrapping paper and whatnot. And then just a little bucket for stress balls and I don't even know. The school gave her this one and this one, right? And then a little power bar. And then she has two computers. This is Jason's extra one and then the one from the school. And then a little pencil caddy here. And she decorates the walls. She does a really cute job with her art. I'll show you Kaylee's on the other side. She just made this one yesterday and the day before. And then this one right here she made today. And then count, I don't know, are we counting down to like 2020 being done? <laughs> I think There's that's what I know I know but normally we have something to look yeah, forward to and, and at this point we're just waiting for this year to be done just want to show up their cute artwork on the walls as well they don't let me in their room very often so there's some of Kaylee's artwork she does these paintings here and then those are her pictures of friends and you can kind of not see it very well but this is glass and she's like painted on it to make it look like a little thing of music. I don't know, she's kind of creative. She painted that little cactus picture there and a little ki cliff baby. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. Is it a baby or an alien? I don't know, a little boy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on I don't know. Does it have hair or anything? So anyway, it's a kind of a cute little area. Also, Kaylee doesn't have her bed made very often, so we'll just record this. And she's had this bear or dog from IKEA. How many years, Kaylee? Since we moved into this house. Yeah, so seven plus years. So overall, really cute room. Abby has her bed made. It's kind of fun, and they're like following me so that they're not in the shot, right, Ashley? All right, we'll leave them be, right? This area is cute. They've already done that area there. All right, happy days of organizing. Oh, they also have some boxes down here for Abby's stuff with her school books here. And then she got a box today with art supplies to put in it. Can I just ask you really quick if you like your little desk area? So it looks like the girls used all the file boxes. <laughs> so I'll have to look for some extra ones. You don't really need one, it just goes there and you can put your notebooks in it, but I think you'll be okay. Are you tired? Played outside a lot today, huh? Are you doing your time? You showered already? Eating dinner? All right, let's pray that you go to sleep tonight and it's probably not even seven o'clock. What time is it? Oh, 6.45. Is this day almost over? <laughs> I'm tired. Jace, you wanna say hi? You haven't been on yet. Yeah. You're tired, huh? A little bit, I wanna exercise, but you can't go outside with this crappy. All right, well, I'm gonna get dinner you made the rice, right? Yeah, Is it done? done? And then I made, like I said, I made extra meatballs 
yesterday. So I'm gonna have that. Apparently Jason and Kaylee had it for lunch, so they did not wanna eat it for dinner. They don't realize it's dinner again tomorrow. <laughs> So don't eat it for lunch tomorrow. Because I purposely made extra so I didn't have to make dinner today. Okay, I'm gonna eat dinner. Should I just call it a night? I'm gonna call it a night because we don't have any more IKEA cleaning to do and I'm tired. I wanna hang out and watch TV and do nothing. Because I'm very, very tired. Long day. Okay, can you say goodnight? Goodnight. You're the only one who didn't really do get a desk, but you have a cute area by me, right? Yeah. And that means you get to stop and play Uno with me? Yeah. Yeah, and maybe have a little snack or two, cause I have the snacks. Yeah. You don't know that, but and they don't know that. I have the snacks in my bed. Found one in your own bedroom. I know she did. Did she tell you? No, I was there when she did it. When she went to get, I, I knew that was a risk. Chelsea came and asked for, and I knew what was in that drawer. And I took a risk telling her to go get her own cough drops instead of getting it for my, getting it for her. We have school tomorrow, and we're all stocked up and ready to go. And we'll see you guys next time.